I'm working on this project. It's from a new course that I'm writing called Vectorworks Architect for Domestic Design. One of the things that came up in a recent workshop was elevation benchmarks. So I'm just going to go through that quickly with you. Here's my section. It's got uh, elevation benchmarks. Now I've used stories to set this up so I know where all the stories are. I go to my elevation benchmarks. I want to activate the bottom of the footing. I could activate the top of the footing. I want to activate the finished floor and OK to that. So there are my elevation benchmarks. If I double click or right click and choose edit annotations, I can edit my annotations. That's my elevation benchmark. I'm just going to move that across to there. Move this one across at the same time. OK, now I want to exit my viewport. Now, the, one of the things that's really cool about these elevation benchmarks is when I activate the next one, the finished floor and the ceiling, just have a look. Those elevation benchmarks measure where the first two were and it lines them up, which is really cool. It's a real time saver for me. You can change the elevation benchmark. You can change all the settings on it. You, we get their style so we can update the style. But that's another movie. I just wanted to show you quickly how you can make your elevation benchmarks appear in your sections. Now you can also make them appear in elevations as well if you want. There are mine already set up and they're appearing. And so you can make them show up. And again, you just choose where you want them to show up. Now I have to do them individually, elevation benchmarks. You can see I've got those two and I'm just using an unstyled elevation benchmark for those. Now if you really like this movie, please give me a thumbs up. I know it's corny, but it really does help. This file that I've been showing is actually part of a new course called Vectorworks Architect for Domestic Design. Here it is here. I've been making the movies for this. If you want to become a subscriber, you get access to a phenomenal number of movies here. This is just one of the courses that I've got going. So there's other courses on Vectorworks Architect, site modeling, 3D modeling and so on. So become a subscriber and really get the best information and get new information every month by attending my workshops. Thanks for watching.